Hey guys, back here with Tua for another video. This one's going to be a little bit different here today. We're basically going to follow um, his routine and his life, um, how we do it during a weekday. So when we have work going on and stuff like that, I'll probably do another one following his routine and his life on a weekend. But uh, for right now, we're just doing the weekday. And the coolest part about this video, at least to me, was this was suggested by one of you guys, one of the subscribers. So I was pretty pumped to make it. Um, it took me a while. It definitely was the most extensive video that I've done up to this point. Uh, but it was a lot of fun making it. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, without further ado, here is a day in the life of Tua. Hope you guys enjoy. So we wake up about 6 a.m. each morning. And he's not always this excited to get out. Sometimes we actually have to kind of coax him out of there. Just really depends on the morning. And on the other hand, when he gets to these stairs, he's usually really excited because he knows that he's going to get his food. But I always try to make him go out and go to the bathroom first before I give him his food. I want him to pee because he's been holding it all night. So I, I don't want him to have to hold that when he's uh, eating his food. Once Tua gets back inside from going potty, he basically hangs out in the kitchen while I begin to prep his food. Right now we're feeding him Diamond Naturals Puppy Formula, and we just follow the suggested serving size on the back as recommended by our vet and by our breeder as far as portion sizes go, and he's getting just under six cups per day right now split up over two meals. One thing that I like to do with this food is I like to soak it with warm water. It just makes it easier for him to chew it, and I've found that my dogs seem to enjoy it more. It seems more like a treat to them. So I let that food soak for about 10 minutes. So while I'm letting it soak, I like to get him brand new fresh water. Just dump the old stuff out from last night. And as you can see here, he's usually pretty good about patiently waiting, never taking his eyes off me as he knows that that food's coming. So what I started doing with him from a very young age is making him sit and stay while I'm giving him his food. The last thing that I want is a fully grown bull mastiff trying to jump all over me while I'm giving him his food. Plus, it's just another good opportunity for him to work on his stay command every single day. Another thing that I do every time he's done eating and drinking is I take a paper towel and wipe down his face. He usually has a lot of what I would call food drool, I guess, built up on his face. And then also when he drinks water, he has a little bit of drool coming from his jowls. He's just licking his bowl here, finishing up. There's no more food left. So wipe him down. No big deal. As soon as he's done eating, I let him out immediately to go poop. And he always poops within the first 30 seconds, probably. So once the whole eating and going to the bathroom process is over, it's about 6.30 in the morning. And we just like to watch TV, drink coffee, and play with him in the living room for the most part. He's usually pretty relaxed during this time. And I've talked about this in a couple other videos, but my wife does daycare out of our home. So about 7.15 people start showing up and we actually leave Tua in his bed to help socialize him. He's able to see parents and kids come in our house every single day. So he gets used to new people coming into the house, the door opening and closing, doorbell ringing, things like that. Once all the kids are here for the day, we still let them hang out in his bed or in the living room area for a while. And we allow our kids to go ahead and free play with them if they want. Or he can just kind of hang out and do some chewing. By about 9.30 every morning, it's time to go back to his crate. So we'll let him out to go potty one last time before this. And as you can see by this video, he has no problem going to his crate whatsoever. We've pretty much taught him from an early age that it's a good place to go. And I'll probably make a video one day about how we make the crate nice and positive for him and how we teach him to go there on command.
around 12 30 one o'clock the kids are all down for a nap or quiet play and he gets to come out again So during this time, we make sure to get him a drink of water, and he spends a lot of time playing outside, and sometimes he'll come back in in the living room. I guess he goes a little bit back and forth between outside and in the living room with us. So about 3 o'clock he has to go back to his crate, which he never really seems to mind. He'll usually just take a nap at this time. By about 5.30 all the kids have gone home and it's one of his favorite times, dinner time. After he eats it's back outside to go to the bathroom and he usually plays outside for the most part as we prepare our dinner. And when we sit down to eat, he's usually found circling the table, hoping for the kids to drop something for him. After we eat, it's the most productive time of the day for him. Between going for family walks, maybe I'll do some training, and just a lot of free play with us and the kids. This is probably his favorite time of the day. By about 8 o'clock, the kids are in bed and my wife and I start winding down ourselves. Tua is usually pretty tired by this point. He does a lot of back and forth between laying by us and laying in his bed, but he always eventually falls asleep pretty quick. Usually sometime between 10 and 10.30, it's time for his last call, his last body break of the night, and then we're off to bed. Kennel. Well guys, that is it. That is how a normal weekday goes for us with our Bull Mastiff Pup Tua. If you guys watched the whole thing, I really appreciate it. It's definitely the longest video that I've made to this point. So if you stuck around up to this point, 
Uh, awesome. Really appreciate it, guys. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments, too, if you did stick around this whole time. I'd, I'd love to know if you did and what you thought and if you enjoyed it. Like I said earlier, I'll probably do another video like this, um, but tracking our routine and his life on a weekend, just so you guys can see how it differs. But uh, otherwise, thanks, thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Take care. You want to say bye, buddy? Say bye. Yeah, good boy.